barracks. No, no. Big man said you'd be showing up soon. He's upstairs with the lizard girl. Okay. I'm tired of being stuck in here all day long. Such a shame. When we walk in the beautiful sunlight, we burst into flames. Though I suppose it does make taking a stroll more exciting. You're rather polite for a vampire. Just because I'm not attempting to rip you open and feast on your blood doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about it. Oh. It's our nature to lust for the life within you. Luckily for you, Valeric has taught us to control our hunger. Valeric? Valeric saved us. He has his reasons, I guess. He even infiltrated a Dominion military camp to save Jeruk. The Khajiit was dying, and Valeric turned him. And what about you? I was different once. A servant, given to the Nords as a gift when this alliance was formed. Oh. Eventually, though, my masters grew tired of me, and I was thrown out into the how cold. Did, how did you survive? I didn't. The cold overtook me. The next thing I remember, Valeric was watching over me. He gave me his gift to save me. It's kind of funny. On the day I died, my life truly began. All right. An outsider. Jeruk has not seen one in many years. Outsiders tend to fear us. Come, pull up a chair. Let us entertain you. It's not like we're going anywhere. All right. I I mean, is it just me or does um, Valeric remind you of Randas? Just me, I'm sure. I am Let me out of here, please. This isn't right. You're killing me. You gave me to these creatures and they're going to use me as food. Why would you do such a thing? Have they harmed you? Of course not. Who harms their dinner before they feast? I'm sure they're going to be very good to me. At least until supper time. Mm. Uh. Scales Hi. tried to escape, so we locked her up. Oh. Nothing to worry about. Just want to make sure everyone stays safe. It won't it's be long safe before space. she gets that crazed look in her eyes, though. All right. Do you really need to lock her up? You saw those things out there. They're mindless monsters. As ugly as they are evil and only interested in killing and feasting. Do you really want scales out there attacking people? No? That's why I put her in a cage. So we'll just kill her. There's a chance, but it's just that, a chance. There's no guarantee she'll survive the process. I've seen it kill as often as it cures. It's a risk, but the alternative is far, far worse. If you're lying to me, I'll hunt you down, you and your clan down. I swear by the blood of my clan and my clanmates, I only want to help her. She's safe here. I'll protect her for as long as she remains with us. And oh. if the cure fails, I'll teach her to control her urges. All right, all right, try to cure her. You've made the right decision. I promise I'll do everything in my power to help her. We'll watch over her. If she doesn't improve, we'll make sure she doesn't succumb to the bloodlust. All right, don't make me regret my decision. Believe me, you won't regret this. Poor Scales burns with the blood fever. She'll be trying to eat every face she sees soon enough. Who would wish that fate upon her? Well, I suppose my father would, but you'll learn more about him shortly. But you what? I promise we'll look after Scales. We'll make sure that she's safe and that she doesn't hurt anyone. Now, I need your help. You saw for yourself. Vampire abominations prowl the springs. Those are my father's toys. Sick creations oh. of his evil mind. What's your father trying to accomplish? We've all been infected. Cursed. Plagued. Call it what you will. We're vampires. But we don't have to succumb to the curse's savage nature. My father thinks otherwise. Uh, how so? 
He believes we should embrace the bloodlust, the power, taking those who can't oppose us and making them our own. A civil war rages through East March. He feels the time is right to strike. He oh. wants to grow an army of undead before anyone notices. And you want to stop him? My father must be stopped at all costs. <sighs> He's already targeted the Winterland hunters. He's about to turn them into his puppets. Joruk downstairs can tell you how to save them. That's our first step. Why, why can't you help the hunters like you did, Iman? This world is a deadly place when the sun glows bright in the sky. It's just too dangerous outside. Oh. Even the wounds I recently suffered require time and a great deal of blood to overcome. Oh. Imagine the cost of trying to deal with all those hunters. Then why haven't you approached the hunters during the night? I must say you are a strange one. Others would have drawn weapons the moment they saw what I was. Anyway, I could attempt to scare them away. But they're hunters. I don't suspect they scare very easily. Alright, how do we deal with your father? We turn my father into dust, and end his tyranny once and for all. The hunters are merely a distraction. If we deny him their blood, he'll grow curious, perhaps even vulnerable. He'll want to know who interfered with his plans. Alright, let's get him out of here then. I don't think there wouldn't be a vampire snack anywhere. I hope Valeric didn't convince you to join our cause. Our battles never end well. True, his father's a bastard, but he's a strong bastard. Valeric can't beat him, and those who help us usually die. But enough depressing talk. How can Jeruk help you? Uh, Valeric mentioned you have a plan to save the hunters. Yes, yes, Jaruk always has a plan. The blood fiends hunt by scent. They have the hunter's scent and await the command to strike. If we mask the scent, the blood fiends will lose interest and wander off. The hunters will be saved. What do I need to do? Take this liquid. It is a gift from Jaruk's close friends, Cello and Harp. <laughs> Don't ask what it is you don't want to know. Splash uh, it on the hunters. Make them smell like something the blood fiends won't want to eat. Oh, the overnight pail. Okay. And the hunters won't mind being splashed with this? Oh, they'll hate it. They'll probably try to kill you. Oh. It's best if you rough them up a bit first. Show them who's stronger. Then, splash it in their faces. As long as they end up very smelly, the hunters should be safe. Okay. <laughs> I should have asked him about trying that first. He mentioned something about other people who've tried this before. Majorn, my master, would like to speak with you. Hello? You've made contact with Majorn's son, Valeric. He's a troubled young man, ashamed of his heritage. Uh -huh. Majorn simply wishes to end the conflict with his son. For this reason, my lord requests to meet with you. Why me? Oh, it's not just you. Others have tried to help Valeric. They either see how futile their task is, or they fail. My master wants to explain this to you. You don't have to make any decisions right now. Just hear him out. Where do I find Majorn? He will meet with you in his manor, the one to my left. No harm will come to you at this time. Majorn gives you his word. 